In the recent security bridges in Ondo State, where some Ibera people were mentioned to be allegedly involved in carrying out the killing in our church, Ibera community in the state are worried and have cautioned against politicizing the fight against insecurity to ensure victory in the war against banditry and kidnapping. The observation was made by the Ibera people from Kogi State living in Ondo State while addressing newsmen during a press conference in Akure, the Ondo State capital. The representatives of the people who came out from each of the 18 local government areas of the state said that the conference was imperative following an earlier meeting called at the instance of the state government in which they were accused of not putting their houses in order in the area of security in the state. In a communique read by Barrister Vincent Abiodu Imoru, copy of which was made available to journalists, the group noted that Nigeria's security challenges could not have gotten to its present alarming level if stakeholders have not been politicizing it and called for collaborative efforts to win the war. They particularly pointed out the listing of one Idris Ojo, who was an escapee from Koje prison, that was attacked on July 5, 2022. In the list of those arrested for carrying out the massacre in Owo on June 5, 2022, a month after and lauded Governor Oluwaro Timi Akeredolu for making the clarification shortly after the list was released by the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Loki Irabo, disclosing that they are not ready in any way to support or defend any of their kinsmen arrested for crime, instead report such persons to appropriate authorities. The people called on security agencies to always carry out thorough and verifiable investigations before going to the press, as their intelligence gathering investigations and conclusions are always open for public evaluation and analysis. Having pleaded with the Ondo state government to establish a Moteku post in some communities which are predominantly inhabited by Ebira people and enlist their interested youths in the security agency, they warned Politicians who have cultivated the habit of importing Ebira youth from their state to Ondo state as political talks, saying that they are ready to deal decisively with such youths. While using the forum to announce the banning of all Ebira traditional festivals from being held in any part of Ondo state, they posited that henceforth they will be collecting the data of all arrested suspected criminals of Ebira origin in the state for periodic presentation to their paramount ruler, the Ohinoin of Ebira land, His Royal Majesty Ado Ibrahim, for further tracing, invitation, and interrogation of their parents at the palace of their monarch in Okene Kogi State.